Okay, this is um, using the SAS Chapter 1, SAS Yacht Master Offshore book. Um, and what we've, what we've done here is we've tried to simplify the formula. Um, and I'll run through a few little things. But this is basically to try and find our latitude line. So what I need you to understand to some extent is what these figures are. And, I'm, and, I'll, and I'll come back to this. I just want to maybe take you through to this picture here, which might help you. Okay, so, I'm, so at a certain time of the year... Um, I'm looking um, south, okay, so my eyes are looking that way, okay, because the sun is south of me, so I am north of the sun, okay. The next thing we need to understand is on this particular day and whatever it was, we go and look at a, a nautical almanac or we go and look at a perpetual almanac and we get exactly where the sun is directly above the earth so in other words that angle of the earth and the sun is 90 degrees okay so it's on the latitude line of 22.5 22 degrees 56 minutes south now i then take my angle this angle here and i read and i eventually come up with a figure of 72 degrees 53 minutes is the angle that i've managed to get that the sun um, brought down onto the horizon is away from me. So what I need to do with that information is I need to then determine how far away from the sun am I. So if I if this if I make an assumption that the sun would have been directly above me, but no, it's not. It's actually at this angle away from me, which means this number here, that angle there is the same as saying how far away from me is the sun directly on a latitude line. Now don't get confused here. This little n is not about a latitude line at all. All it is is saying that I'm 17 degrees and 7 minutes. I could have said I was um, certain miles away. Remember 1 degree is equal 60 miles so I could have multiplied by 17 by 60 and added that and I could have done it the same way but what I've done is I've said okay I'm working with degrees and minutes so I've found my distance in other words how far away am I from the latitude line that the sun is directly above the north I put in here as a reminder that I'm looking south which means I am north of the sun Okay, it's quite important you'll see in the formula when we work it out. I'm going to come back to this. I just want to go back to the formula so you can see where these numbers all fit in and different things. Okay, before I do that, you'll note one thing here. There's going to be a correction for this distance. There's going to be a correction for whether I'm looking at the top or the bottom of the sun when I bring it down onto the horizon. And the sextant itself is going to have a correction. So what I'm getting at there is... For SAS purposes, we've basically just summarized, um, we've abbreviated that because a couple of minutes is not going to make a very big difference and on the average this is the kind of correction that we need to apply. So we take our 72 degrees 41, which we read off the side of the sextant, we then make our correction and we end up with a true altitude of 72 degrees 53 minutes. Now remember, I had to work out that 17.7, how did I get that number? Well, if the sun had been directly above me, but it wasn't, but I managed to get that angle, which means the difference between the angles is how far away I am from where the sun is directly above the earth. Okay, I was looking south, therefore I'm north of the sun, and this comes uh, pretty important when I start to talk about these things down here. But So for starters, I now need to work out um, from my almanac, I managed to get the declination. In other words, where is the sun directly above the earth? And I've looked at that's how far I am away. So I've subtracted and I've ended up with a latitude of 0, 0,5 degrees 49 south. So how do I know if it's south? How do I know when to add or subtract? Okay, in simple terms, if these were both the same, in other words, they were both north or they were both south, I would be adding them. Okay, how do I decide whether this is south 
Well, if they were both north and north, this would be north. If they were both south and south, it would be south. But for the purpose of this exercise, I take the larger number and I work and I apply that. So the larger number means I'm still in the southern hemisphere. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where that formula comes into play. You'll have this formula in front of you. Um, you'll work with a sextant and you'll basically uh, plot, uh, sort of plot and play. And uh, you read, need to just read up a couple of numbers. So you need to go back and have a look at that chapter one and read through where you find all these different definitions. Um, thanks for your time. Got any questions? Give me a shot.